Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, today I have Anthony Lombardi on the line. He's founder and executive director of the Lombardi Family Office. Anthony, welcome to the show. Adam, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, man, so excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk about the modern family office and what that looks like. Um, but before we do that, I do want to go a little bit further into your practice. So tell us a little bit more about the Lombardi Family Office, please. Well, the Lombardi Family Office has been helping – um, small business owners, their families, their businesses, develop stronger families, sustainably successful businesses for over 20 years by working through their CPA and developing these um, these intimate relationships with their professionals. That's awesome. And uh, and so at the end of this, I'm going to give you an opportunity to leave your website and, and contact info so people can learn more. What um, So just to make sure that the right type of people um, or clients follow up with you, what are the, on uh, your team, what are the right type of um, clients that are typically a good fit for the Lombardi family office? Well, our clients are professionals to begin with. So our, our, all our clients are CPAs. So the CPA represents who our clients are, and we're working with their clients and their end users. The demographic we help most are usually the small business owner family and their businesses. So, so businesses, you know, doing revenues from 35 million to 100 million a year in revenues, and uh, and with less than probably you know a thousand or less employees, closely held companies, and obviously the families that uh, that represent these businesses. So. Those are our target. So our clients are CPA and the end user are, are those type of families that need our services. So let's uh, let's get further into this concept of the modern family office. Um, so where, where do you want to start with that one? Well, the modern family office is an interesting uh, interesting concept. Now we've we're a family office. We're a professional family office, right? So what we do is is in in creating the family office experience through the CPA for the accomplished family. Now, traditionally, a family office would be when the ultra-affluent, the ultra-wealthy, just have too big an organization between their family and their business to run either of them effectively without a lot of help. So they instill the, the – they hire um, the services of usually a CPA or some sort of an asset manager to be the director of their family office. And that family office takes care of the matters of the family, the family business, all the corporate family governance, corporate governance, everything that's necessary for, for gen, generation two, three, and four, and all the business as well. And that one CPA or, or director of the family office goes out and hires a team to do all the work necessary. Okay, that's the traditional single family office. Then there was the modern, fa- I mean, the multiple family office where somebody would be a manager of maybe three or four families hiring a team to take care of everything those families needed, including their businesses as well. Well, the evolution of that has led us to create something almost 20 years ago now that we've been doing called the modern family office. And the modern family office says, you know what? Family office support is not just for the ultra wealthy. And it shouldn't just be a struggling family. It shouldn't just be the cost of doing business for America's small business families. This country has been driven and, and, and its revenues are a big part of its revenues are the small business owners. And they're driving this country's revenues. They're doing what they can. They've got wonderful businesses. And a lot of times the cost of having that sustainably successful business is a struggling family because they're investing so much time. So instead of the family owning the business, the business ends up owning the family. And they've had no help. So what we've done is we said, you know what, these families, these, these type of families deserve those, those large family office support um, that most of these more affluent families get. And we can help them have that by creating the family office right there through their CPA. And so the modern family office targets these, these family businesses and the families behind them and the CPAs that cares for them and says that we will teach and train and give your CPA the chance to be that one point of contact to everything you could need to run your business and your family, all the support, an entire team of people working in concert to help you live a more effective life, 
to help you have a thriving and successful and strong and healthy family, as well as a sustainably successful business. We literally, the Lombardi Family Office, created the Modern Family Office to step into the void between the two saying, you can have it all now. And what we've done is, and our mission's always been, to save and preserve the integrity of America's families. And it shouldn't be the cost of doing business, a struggling family, just to have the success you desire. You really can have it all. And that's the crux behind the modern family. I was giving the CPA a chance to bring a lot more value to the table for their accomplished families than just traditional accounting, which is which has been going the way of, of, of online and automated. And, and the value really doesn't stand there anymore for the CPA. They've given that CPA a new, attractive and desirable, unique value proposition of being able to offer the family office experience to those types of families. I love it. And it may, I mean, it makes so much sense because um, the op, let's talk about what happens on the opposite of that. The opposite of those type of families being served by um, the modern family offices is one, they, they normally have a very fragmented situation where it's like they are running. I mean, they still may have considerable assets and it's like they have another business they have to run, which is managing their assets. And then everybody's fragmented and, and you know, not everybody's talking to each other on, and they're not all necessarily on the same page. And it's like they're managing the team. And it's like, that's just, that's another business. And it's not realistic, especially as their wealth increases over time. The complexity naturally increases with the state plan and everything else. And then things are just missed. Like you need a family office to really manage, a, a, um, you know, any type of sizable assets long term. Um, but not having the like, not if you're not in that ultra wealthy um, situation, then it just wasn't economically feasible. So I, I love what you're doing there. Yeah, it's so true. Unfortunately. Um, it is. It's like they're the captain of their own ship, the, the, the CEO of that company. He's also the CEO or she's also the CEO of the family. And she's also trying or he's also trying to be the CEO of their future. And all mm-hmm. of this falls on the shoulders. And guess what's missed? The significant life they were created to have, the intimacy with their family. Somebody's got to give. And what ends mm-hmm. up happening is the family ends up saying, you know what? I'll support the business because someday – that business and everything we're doing here is going to give us the freedom to have the family we've always wanted. And you know what? You know what ends up happening? They get to the top of that ladder and there's just more work. There's really nothing there. They're, they're striving to get there and they end up going, oh, my goodness. They look out into the abyss and say, this is never going to end. And what's lost in the balance? They miss their kids, you know, first hit in a baseball game. They miss their daughter's ballet performance. They miss, you know, anniversaries and what have you with their spouses. It's crazy what gets missed. For the desire for success, we always say, look, at success is the American disease and significance is the cure. So why not be able to have both? Why can't I have a significant life while having a successful business? Well, there is. You know what you're missing? One word, leverage. And that's what we provide through one point of contact. The CPA becomes the leverage they need to have it all. That's awesome. So, Anthony, if somebody's listening to this, and they want more information on the Lombardi family office. I mean, what's the best way for them to follow up and to connect? Well, simple. You know, we've, uh, we've got our website at teamlombardi.com. Um, and that's a great way to reach out to us right there. Um, and go to the website. Our contact information is there, everything you need, all our social media, and, uh, and all of that is there. We've got lots of videos and all that that goes out as well. So if you, if you think you're that family or you're that CPA that wants to be that, that value to the families they're working with, then reach out. We'd love to have a conversation with you and see if the Modern Family Office could be the solution you've been looking for all along. Fantastic. Well, Anthony, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, sharing more about um, your company and also what you're designing in the Modern Family Office. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission There's Money, definitely give us a subscribe there. Um, but leave us some comments in the video. I mean, love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Anthony, thanks again for coming on the show. Adam, thank you. I appreciate it. It was a great time.